Good morning, church. Dios le bendiga, hermanas and hermanas. In Spanish, that means God bless you, brothers and sisters. We are greeting you from, from afar, and of course, we'd love to be with you in person, but that isn't possible right now. We do, do however, wish to send you a great big special thank you. Last fall, Central Church held a very successful drive through fundraiser dinner. We were shocked at your generosity through this means. In that one event, you funded most of the salaries for a teacher and her assistant for the entire year in our Ministry ACL. Ministry ACL is a lay-founded and lay-led ministry to families with special needs. Lazaro in Italy started this ministry after having come to faith in Christ and having raised a special needs child for 12 years. Lazaro is a businessman. Italy is a natural evangelist with a heart of gold for families in her situation. They know the shame and social hiding common to many such families in their culture. Ministry ASAL has rapidly grown to serve the needs of more than 50 families in this part of the Baja in Mexico. It, it's located about three hours south of San Diego, California. They were able to open a school for 24 stu uniquely abled students in the Baja. Through your generosity, they hired Ole, a recent college gra graduate with a degree in special education. They also found a very ab able assistant to serve with her in this ministry. They, uh, she and her assist assistant are very happy with a salary of only $300 a month and $200 respectively. This school is actually more a personal physical or occupational therapy center than it is what we think of when we think of a school. Through this school, students receive personal training. They help them with skills in things like walking or self-feeding and in the other end, reading and math, emotional support or whatever is needed for each student. COVID-19 has impacted this school up close. In December, Italy's parents fell victim to severe cases of COVID-19 and her mother died. Each member of Lassero and Italy's family have also had pretty strong bouts of the disease. The pandemic has also hit much harder in our part of Mexico than what we see in the United States. The government has now forbidden their school to be open for s several months. So the teachers have taken their new school on the road to go house to house to meet and to train their students and their mothers. What a joy it was to see little Juanito successfully operate a wheeled walker for his first time because of these teachers that you helped fund. I have watched 17-year-old Daniela as she took her first independent walking steps. She spent her first 16 years being carried, riding in a baby stroller, or doing her best to maintain her balance as she held furniture or the hands of other people. She not only walks, but she has begun to run because of your generous support. More importantly, however, her mother has come to faith in Jesus Christ and will spend an entire eternity living life to the fullest. On the other end of the skills spectrum is little Isaias. He has a facial deformity. He receives loving therapy each week in how to handle the ridicule from the other children in his public school. These are just examples of the ways that you have been able to help and we are delighted and want to again say thank you for your generosity to this ministry. Thank you so very much.